very first Morris Track and Time event. This is amazing. Praise our love. See, understand, let me tell you, you guys have something special here in Philadelphia and the surrounding area. We're up in central, central New York, Syracuse, New York. So it's like, it's like, you know, excuse the analogy, it's like drugs for us to come down and see this many fezzes and turbans in person. That's right. We don't get this opportunity all. So thank you all, thank you all. My name is Brother S.N.I.A. Bay. I'm a member of Temple Number 11. That's right. Philadelphia, by way of Syracuse, New York. It's long. I'm the head of the uh, Syracuse, New York study group under the authority of Temple Number 11 and the authority of our um, um, man of honor today. Let's say a few more words about that in a second. First, I want to rise and give praise to the great God, Allah, almighty, eternal, and incomprehensible, yet, but yet closer, closer to you than, you than your juggler, juggler vein. vein. That's right. I want to give honors to his love thought in the form of a well-made man, Prophet Noble Ali, Jesus come again, Savior of humanity, love made manifest so that men can comprehend. I want to give honors to the forefront of the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey, give honors to the Prophet's strategy for implementing Allah's um, Kingdom on earth, and that's the Morris Science Temple of America. I want to give honors to all past and present leaders of the Morris Science Temple of America. Honors to all members of the Morris Science Temple of America. Honors to all who attain to the title of faith. faithful. Honors to all of you today, and honors to all and everything that pertains to Islam and Islamism. Islam. Islam. I'm also one of the founding members of a group or a body of Morris American men called Ali's Men. Some of you may have heard of us. <laughs> um, briefly, I'll just say about Ali's men is that we're a group of Moorish American Muslim men from across so-called brain body lines that have pledged to work together across these illusory brain body lines for the unification and for the uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America. So what we aspire to see in the movement is what we attempt to put into practice amongst ourselves every day. And that's unity at all costs. If you say Allah is God and Noble Ali is his prophet, and you have seven acts that you strive to live by, all is well. Islam. So I'm, not, I'm gonna be brief. I'm gonna bring on, bring on our esteemed brother. It said that the prophet, it's reported that the prophet said, in order to change a people, you must first change their literature. On our way down here, on our way traveling down early this morning, one of our young brothers who's a member of the study group, uh, we were talking about the importance of literature and talking about the importance of nationality. Nationality, the legal definition is that quality of character that arises, arises out from of the fact, fact that a person, a person belongs, belongs to a nation. State. It's a quality or a character. And so we're quizzing the young brother about how do you obtain the quality or character of a Moorish American? Woo! How is that done? You know, is it by putting your fez on? Uh -huh. That's a start. That's a start. That's a start. You fez your turban and your pin? That's a start. Making your meetings, paying your dues, keeping in line with all necessities? That's a start too. That's a very healthy start. Start to the kingdom. But also, the prophet again was reported as saying in order to change the people, you must first change their literature. We spoke about the importance of the ingesting of the literature and its importance in obtaining the quality of a Moorish American. So we talked about international studies in college. Anybody familiar with international studies? Or what's required in international studies if you want to go to college and take up international studies as a major? The first thing you must do if you pick a particular nation that you want to study is that you must learn and absorb key parts of that nation's signature literature. For instance, in China, there are three main books. If you want to learn about Chinese to do business in China, there's three main books that you must be very familiar with. Journey to the West, All Men Are Brothers, and Romance of the Three Kingdoms. You know, right, brother? You're familiar with those three. Why? Because those three books shape Chinese thought. Those three books shape Chinese thought. Well, what pieces of literature shape Moorish American thought? This is important. And to the 
point of why we're here today, the prophet says on the back of the questionnaire, the one of the purposes of the Lord's side of America is to what? To propagate the faith and extend the learning and truth of the great prophet Ali in America, right? To extend it. So that means we have to be like the biblical story where Jesus told of the merchant and the three sons with the talents, right? We don't want to be like the last son. The first son got 10 talents, the second one got five, the last one got one. When the father returned, the one with 10 said, look, father, I've taken your 10, I've doubled it, we have 20 now. And the father said, great job, son, here's 10 more. And now I'm gonna throw a party for you. The one that had five said, look, father, I doubled what you gave me from five to 10. He said, great job, here's five more, going to the party. The one with one talent said, Father, I was scared that I might lose that talent, so I buried it in the ground. And the father took that one from him and kicked him out of the house. That's the state of the Negro today, right? We want to be like the one given 10 and the one given five. And we have a brother just like that in our midst. I'm, I go on record to say, and not just because that's my brother and also my grand chief and also my comrade and all these men. I go on record to say that this particular book is absolutely essential for all Moorish American Muslims. Actual fact. To have a greater and deeper understanding and appreciation of the prophet's actual message and the prophet's actual agenda. Fact. We all have to be on the same page. Man's ideal is his God, right? Well, what ties a nation of people together? Their ideal of God. That's why we all have the same questionnaire, right? Our questionnaire all starts with the same question. Who made you? Allah. We all said the same thing. That means we all should have the same idea. We all should have the same idea. So, in moving towards this ideal, this commonality, or this common ideal in Moorish America, our literature must reflect this. Our literature must guide our minds, not just the minds of the older, but also to the babies. So that we're all saying the same thing. When somebody asks this table, what is nationality? They should, have, they should give one answer. And when somebody asks this table, what is nationality? These sisters should stand up and say, can you hear what those brothers and sisters Woo! What makes you think it changes? We have the same Fez Turban, same natural national name, right? It's all. So without further ado, I would like to bring on my brother we love very much. Um, my comrade in Ali's men and a brother who works unceasingly for the uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America. 